The United Nations defines illicit financial flows as financial flows that are illicit in origin, transfer or use, that reflect an exchange of value and specifically that cross-country borders. Which is why UNCTAD UNODC's conceptual framework for the statistical measurement of illicit financial flows pilot testing project is a global endeavor of international cooperation. Currently, there are um, multiple countries in Africa, but also in Asia, in Latin America, also in Europe, pilot testing the methodologies uh, to measure the illicit financial flows. These pilot countries are helping on a global scale by showing the example to other countries in the world through their willingness and motivation to tackle IFF. As we all know, IFF are global and are also taking place in northern countries, not just in southern countries. The testing of methodologies has also happened in Latin America, led by UNODC, and is happening now in Asia and the Pacific as well. We're using the African continent to actually test the methodologies for the tax and commercial illicit financial flows component. So we're using it to measure um, SDG 16.4.1a specifically, whereas Latin America and Asia are actually focusing on crime-related illicit financial flows. The idea, of course, the intent is to develop separate uh, estimates for the different types of illicit financial flows so that they can serve different policy needs and then, of course, provide a different uh, um, uh, analysis so that it can be served for policy development. So the main objective of the project is to contribute strengthening statistical capacities of national agencies in pilot countries to measure certain types of illicit financial flows in order to report on the Agenda 2030 for sustainable development and support policy actions to curb IFF in the pilot countries. What will be measured in each particular country will depend on their national circumstances. So what illicit financial flows are prevalent in the country, uh, what, is, what are, is the data availability, uh, what is the statistical capacity in the country. We are not here in this, in this work we are doing is not uh, to set up you know, new legal or frameworks or definitions, but the focus is on the measurement. This project is uh, extremely important and, and interesting um, because of the inter-country collaboration and exchange of experience between countries. The final outcome of the project will feed directly into the refinement of the guidelines for the statistical measurement, which means that the um, the final methodologies will have to be comprehensive and fully applicable across various statistical systems on the globe. So we hope that the knowledge gained from the pilot countries will contribute to national policy actions towards uh, curbing illicit financial flows, but it will also definitely help us improve the proposed methodological guidelines and refine some of the statistical methodologies to report on the SDG indicator 16.4.1 that every country in the world will need to report on. This experience will be shared with the peer countries so that they can also prepare if they are interested to participate in a future project. We invite every country interested to test the proposed methodologies to do it and join this global statistical move to estimate IFF. To join the global statistical move to measure illicit financial flows, visit stats.angtad.org forward slash IFFs or unodc.org.